Last year in NBA 2K18, we created a full team of LeBron James and found out if he could go 82-0 in the NBA. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to do so and instead he had 75 wins. So in today's video, we're going to be doing the same thing but in NBA 2K19. Do you guys think that he is going to get more wins than he did in NBA 2K18 or is he going to get less wins or maybe the exact same? I am giving away two copies of NBA 2K20. They're going to be given away on the 25th of August. All you have to do to enter is either go over to my Twitter post, retweet and follow me, or you can also enter just by joining my Discord. So two super easy ways to enter this giveaway. But let's get right into the video. So we're at NBA 2K19 and we got our full team of LeBron James, Los Angeles LeBron James. And we do have the updated rosters on NBA 2K20. This is for the PS4 version, but it is going to be all the updated rosters. So just so you guys know who LeBron will be facing off against. And we have this entire team of LeBron James. This is the official 2K rating that he has in the game right now. And, and we're just going to simulate a season with LeBron, see what he can do as a team, see if he can go undefeated and win an NBA championship. So we're at the All-Star break and it looks like we got two LeBron James on the NBA All-Star team, one on Team Giannis and one on Team James Harden, both of them on the reserves for those teams though. And we don't always see players stand out a lot just because it's a team of the same player. So the ball is gonna be spread around equally and none of the players are gonna have any like crazy stats. So still very impressive that two of them end up making the all-star team though. But unfortunately, LeBron James wasn't able to do better as a team of himself in 2K19 as he was able to do in 2K18. 2K18, he had 75 wins. This year in 2K19, only able to get 69 wins as a team. I think if he had a full team of himself though, he would easily go undefeated in real life. But of course, this is in real life, this is 2K. Because, uh, I mean, LeBron realistically can pretty much cover any position and he would destroy it offensively on any position. Uh, Nikola Jokic, MVP. Ja Morant gets Rookie of the Year. Jabari Parker, Sixth Man of the Year. Giannis, Defensive Player of the Year. Steven Adams, Most Improved Player. And then Sean Cartwright, who is going to be the coach of our team of LeBron James, ends up getting Coach of the Year. And let's see if LeBron did end up making... Any of these all NBA teams though, I'm not expecting him to, and no, he does not. Uh, cause of course, there's so many of him. It's gonna be very hard for him to make any of that. So no awards for LeBron and no all NBA teams or anything like that. But he does get the best record in the West with 69 wins, Clippers. Utah Jazz actually doing very well with 58 wins. Then we got the Clippers, Rockets, Spurs, Thunder, Warriors, and Nuggets all making playoffs. Lakers with losing LeBron James end up getting 42 wins and don't make playoffs. I think they'd still get two playoffs with Le Le without LeBron. I mean, they still got Anthony Davis. In the East, the Nets is the, are the best team with 57 wins. Going over to stats for all the LeBrons, you can kind of just check out their points per game. Everything's kind of evenly spread out when we do these team teams of one player, just because, of course, it's one player. They're going to share the ball a lot. But if we go over to team stats, this is where we can see how they did compared to other teams. Most points per game out of any team in the league. Points allowed per game was actually not the lowest. I thought... He would actually do pretty good at that, but um, he was actually near the bottom for points allowed. Differential though is still the best, which matters the most because that's going to get you your Ws. 54.3% from the field goal, and he actually shot the best from three, which is very impressive. 41.8% from three. His free throws are at the bottom of the entire league, which is not at all surprising. LeBron is not too good at shooting free throws. Rebounds per game uh, looks like it's kind of in the middle of all the teams or actually no on the lower end of all of the teams assists per game I'm expecting easily at the top steals per game fifth blocks per game uh, Is kind of in in the middle here at 17th and then bench points is going to be way up the, at the top as well Because it's LeBron James on the bench. Let's hop into the playoffs though. See if LeBron can at least Win a championship, maybe go undefeated in the playoffs. I don't know, it's a possibility. 1-0 against the Nuggets, 2-0 
against the Nuggets. 3-0 against the Nuggets. And are we going to be seeing a sweep right here? And we do. Nice easy sweep for LeBron James right there. Uh, we get to see the other teams that are going to be moving on as well. Clippers versus Golden State in the West. And we got Brooklyn versus Cleveland. Atlanta versus Milwaukee. Atlanta with a huge upset over Boston Celtics. And Milwaukee with an upset over the 76ers. Uh, and Cleveland gets the fourth seed right there and moves on to the second round of the playoffs. So things are a little crazy in the East right here, but in the West, it's kind of expected the teams that should be moving on. Let's simulate another round here. LBJ versus the Houston Rockets. And the Rockets take game one. LBJ takes game two. Rockets take game three. LBJ ties it up two to two. And the Rockets take a three two lead over LeBron James. If LeBron gets upset, in the second round of the playoffs. That is gonna be crazy. LBJ ends up getting a win very narrowly here in game number six, so he forces a game number seven. And game number seven, it is a blowout by the team of LeBron James. He had his home court advantage here as well. So LeBron is gonna move on to the Western Conference Finals and the Eastern Conference Finals. We got Brooklyn versus Milwaukee, which makes sense. And the Clippers are gonna be the other team move on in the west let's see what lbj can do against the los angeles clippers it's all tied up one to one lebron taking a 2-1 lead a 3-1 lead is he gonna move on no the clippers get another game game number six and lebron defeats the clippers and in the east it's gonna be the nets coming out of the east very expected we got no injuries on so Durant and Kyrie are both uh, going to be playing here. Normally, Durant is going to be injured going into the season. Well, let's find out if Le this team of LeBrons can win an NBA championship. It's tied up 1-1. One one. LeBron takes a 2-1 lead. And the Nets tied up 2-2. Two two. LeBron with a 3-2 lead. And the Brooklyn Nets win in game number 6 to force a game Seven. This team of LeBrons is making this so, so close. Let's see if he can clutch up. And in game number seven, it's a pretty big blowout by LeBron. We get to see some gameplay of this team of LeBron James playing, and he gets a bucket to go. And you can see why this team would be very difficult to beat, though. Surprised that some of these series even went to a game number seven. But, of course, it's 2K. Joe Harris with a nice three. It's like LeBron's number six. This roster was probably made before we had the news that LeBron was going to wear 23. Or they just didn't decide to actually change it. It was Professor 2K that actually made this. Here we go, LeBron in the... What, what is Spencer Dinwiddie doing? And LeBron bricks that. I mean, realistically, LeBron would be able to score against every point guard in the, in the league. Super, super easy. And here we go, three seconds left in the game. LeBron James going to win the NBA championship. But the biggest question yet is who will win MVP? Look at them holding up that trophy, this entire team of LeBron here. And there we go, LeBron James ends up getting finals MVP. There's some stats for finals MVP LeBron. I'm guessing they put some LeBron's more minutes during the playoffs. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Not able to go undefeated as a team of LeBron James. 69 wins, but they do win the NBA championship, which is the most important thing. Still, I believe it was Shaq, the only player in 2K19 to go undefeated. I don't know if we're going to be doing any more of these before the new 2K20 comes out. If you guys do enjoy these videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and of course, smash that like button. This has been your boy Spickle, and I'll see you next time. Peace. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems that solve them. I run through the money, the press will be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and double it. Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the